Hello, welcome to Simplosion, the show that begins with X and doesn't. I will fortune to each and every one of you, and I feel you're getting better with each passing day. And we're back again. I think a lot of this show is going to be just going over things that come to mind during meditation or during washing the dishes because these random things float through our minds that let us know that we're not totally conscious of who we are and what we're experiencing. So the one that happened to me recently was the uh, fact that one of the earliest images I have for a, a simile for life is a river, a stream, row your boat down the stream. And I can remember understanding that, uh, I don't know, maybe I was five years old, and then it was reinforced in school. They told me not to be like a jellyfish floating down the river of life, but rather I had to be active and doing things, actively engaged in life. So that image, those images came to mind recently as I was trying to think of, you know, everybody can see off in the, the future, at least most of my friends can, that we're going to live in a, in a beautiful new earth, a great new place, and uh, there won't be any of the nasty things that we see now just because it's going to be a completely different place with no lower, none of the lower vibrational things like war and things like that are just won't be uh, available for experiencing anymore. So what does that look like in between where we are now and that beautiful new world? Well, if we look at the, the river image, we need to go over the waterfall and through that pool that's at the bottom of the waterfall. So it feels to me, and notice that we are, this is still a really good uh, image because a river is made up of individual drops, which each one of us is an individual after all, even though we group together in our society on this planet. And um, so the, the image holds, it's a good simile. So we're going over a waterfall. I feel like I'm going over a waterfall and my life is accelerating and all these things are happening around me on this planet. And I know for some people, their lives are going on pretty much as normal as maybe it was for me 15 years ago, but they're still not. So each water drop is going to, each person is going to experience something different. But anyway, now we're going to over the waterfall. And when we do finally hit that pool at the bottom of the waterfall, that's when we have all the turbulence. And there's a, there's a good physical, uh, physics term that I learned in high school that describes that it's beyond acceleration. The next, it's uh, acceleration is the second derivative of position, and so this change in acceleration when we're when we're changing, changing, changing so fast all the time, getting bounced around here and there. And notice that acceleration is not just a uh, a speed, but it, or a change in in velocity, but it's also a direction. So changing, getting jostled around. That's why jerk is such a good term. And that's what we're going to experience at that at the bottom of that pool, of the waterfall in the pool. So at least that's what I think of it as. So the best thing I can do to prepare for that is to let go of everything else. Because if I'm holding on to anything, I'm going to be have a, more of a problem navigating that pool. So that's my first thing is I'm going to, I'm not going to pretend that I know what that is going to look like. I'm just going to assume that I need to get through it somehow and that the best way for me to be going through it is just to be paying attention, to have my wits about me and to be paying attention. So that's how I'm doing that. I, I, don't, uh, I don't care about uh, having a lot of dried food, guns, boats, planes, cars and trains and automobiles or anything like that. I just, I just want to be healthy and be able to navigate and have my wits about me and presumably know something about what's going on. But the other thing that's going to happen that I think about after having uh, thought about this image a lot is that in the, the, in the physics, in, in the realm of math and physics, the third derivative is where chaos theory starts. Now chaos theory, you may, you may know a chaos theory, a popular phrase that comes from chaos theory is the butterfly effect. And that is that something done at the very beginning of a complex process can have a result that's uh, very different at the end. In other words, you can, if you change something very small at the beginning of a process that's very complex, what the, what the end result is may be completely different from a very small change. So that's where we're headed, where whatever has gone on before may not have quite as much of an effect as what we do while we're in the pool. So coupled that, coupling that with the knowledge that I am incredibly powerful and that I have the ability to coalesce matter at the, at the atomic particle level, 
I think that uh, development of consciousness looks even more important as we go through that pool and to come out on the other side having created or in the process of creating a new world that we like to live in instead of one where we're just barely surviving. Again, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.